Amongst the last remnants of the Ice Age, the iconic cliffs of Stanage are the northernmost in an almost continuous line of gritstone escarpments, dividing the dark peak from the gentler curves of the limestone white peak. Steeped in history, the edge has long been a magnet for both walkers and rock climbers, with both Roman road and packhorse routes adorning the flat plateau above its towering cliffs. Most people know about the climbing history of Stanage, especially you know all the big names, Joe, Joe Brown, Brown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ron Fawcett in the 70s, Johnny Dawes, basically all the top climbers. But before my time, but I take it you know them well. <laughs> well, I met Ron Fawcett, but uh, no, I wouldn't say that I know them well. Well, tell us a little bit more about the history. What, what about that stone circle that we met at this morning? One of three or four stone circles on this side of the moor. Right. There's more over towards the Bakewell area. The whole of the Northern Peak District is full of Neolithic stone circles, burial mounds, all sorts of ancient archaeology. You've got a Roman road runs across the top, pack horse route from the Middle Ages. So the climbing is just nowhere near the complete history. Excellent. How's that? What an amazing place, and we've got some fantastic views today. I guess it really helps with the sunshine, but what's surprising is even with the sun beating down on me, just how nippy it is today. Oh, that's the whole thing with these gritstone edges. They're a couple of hundred feet above the surrounding countryside, and you know, even when the, the sun's burning down like today, the wind will really cut through you, and that's in summer. Now, imagine coming up here in winter when there's snow everywhere. Yeah. That's really when it makes a difference, choosing the right kit. Its name is a simple corruption of Stone Edge. Stanage only reaches a height of 458 metres or 1,500 feet, yet its 30 metre high cliffs have been a mecca for rock climbers for 50 years. Four miles in length and over 300 million years old, Stanage assumes an imposing position over the surrounding landscape, its millstone grit providing both a natural barrier and an opportunity. The coarse surface of the rock has been used for centuries for grinding and milling. Its use immortalised in the term millstone and its legacy enshrined in the remnants of millstones that litter the lower reaches of this line of cliffs. Now you might have heard myself and Dave talk about how important it is to get the right clothing earlier. Well I want to talk a bit today about layering. You might have heard it mentioned in your travels and are wondering, well just what the devil is it? Simply put, it's a system of clothing that manages your sweat and your body temperature, helping you feel and stay comfortable. Layering isn't about having a jacket or top that does everything. Instead, it's about having a couple of different pieces that you can put on or take off, depending on how nice or how nasty the weather gets. There are three parts to layering. The base layer, mid layer and outer shell layers. The base layer is, as its name suggests, the first part of the system, and it sits next to your skin. Its role is to wick or push sweat away from your body. If sweat stays next to your skin, it will leave you cold, and in bad situations can even lead to hypothermia. Your mid layer is the next level up, and it's there to keep you warm. It works by trapping air close to your body and keeping you snug. Fleece is the best material for this as it is light, breathes easily and comes in a variety of different weights. Last up, the outer limits, otherwise known as your outer shell. This is here to keep the nasty stuff away like wind, rain and snow. Don't have this layer and you are going to get wet and cold pretty quickly. You need to have a layer that's waterproof, windproof and that breathes as well. Depending on what you're doing, 
Sort yourself out with an outer shell that gets the balance right for your activity. From its origins as sand and mud in an ancient basin reaching as far as North Wales, Stanage Edge is perhaps the most iconic landmark in the Peak District. You have amazing views across the Dark Peak. The walking is brilliant, with plenty of variation on offer, whatever your walking experience. There truly is something for everyone on Stanage Edge. And your reward? Well, some of the best views this land has to offer. <laughs>